It's not unusual to see a man working on an oil rig here in the Permian Basin. But this particular oil derrick is a rare one. This is a derrick of the vintage late 1920s. These simple steel derricks play a huge part in the history of the petroleum industry. Through the 30s, these steel derricks were used to drill oil wells. After their job was done, they were just left standing all throughout oil patches in the United States. In the 1960s and 70s, uh, the oil companies and uh, the Railroad Commission decided to dismantle these derricks instead of leaving them standing in the oil fields and hundreds and hundreds and thousands of these things ended up in scrap yards. Not this one. It's been laying in a field for over 50 years in the middle of nowhere, Texas, but now it's being restored for the Midland Petroleum Museum. We found this derrick stacked out in a field uh, in Luling, Texas. In fact, these steel derricks were a turning point for the industry. Every drilling method developed since the turn of the century. A switch from wood to steel. This was one of the very first steel oil derrick models. It feels a little bit of an empty spot in our chronological history of derricks. And that history of derricks is history that's being brought back to life. It's, it's important to preserve history of any kind, but the oil field industry was not a science back in the 20s and 30s. Those guys had to learn from their mistakes. The oil field workers of the 20s and 30s had to innovate and learn to make things easier. And while some of those innovations have slightly changed, the foundation of them, like steel rigs, still exists today. In Midland, Tate Owen, Newswest 9.